everyone, welcome to the Michael Clark Review Show. That's right, a review that I'm going to win for once. Okay, right, well, the other day uh, you might have seen me uh, constantly touching my back to check if its fitness was okay. Actually, I was looking for the stab wounds left in there by Shane Watson and his mates. Having a problem teaching your child to walk? Well, why not buy new broad walker? Helps them take those first few steps. Also available in Ian Bell size. So anyway, last night, what I thought I'd do is I thought I'd take the boys out for a meal and try to get some peace between our two factions, as it were, the uh, pro and anti Mickey Alpha faction. So anyway, there I sit, I choose a Korean restaurant. So obviously, the first thing that happens is the pro Arthur go and sit in the South Korean bit, and we go and sit in the North Korean bit. And guess what? There's no chance of peace there. Breaking news. Today, there have been a series of bloody clashes in Cricket Square between pro Lehman and pro Arthur forces. Lehman, of course, who seized power in a bloody coup led by the Australian Cricket Board, is determined to carry on in his autocratic fashion. There have been some casualties, the most significant one being young spinner Nathan Lyon. Caius Catullus, look at Vesuvius. Is he going to blow or not? I don't know. Let's ask High Priest Erasmus and his hotspot. Yes, uh, Caius, I got your uh, carrier pigeon. I'm looking now and I, I can see nothing that indicates any uh, activity of any sort on hotspot. Apart from the lava and the ashes laying down on Pompeii, that's right. So anyway, I thought I'd get my back fixed, so I booked a trip to Lourdes. Turns out, it was Lords. No miracle cures there, mate. In fact, the opposite. Samuel Beckett. Wisdom and author. Samuel Beckett. Trinity College, Dublin. And Nobel Prize winner for literature. And yet he never tackled cricket. What about if he had? Today, we're going to read from you an extract from a, an unpublished work by Samuel Beckett, cricketer and writer. A pile of ashes in urn. Breathe. Breathe. A mouth. Michael Clark speaks. Ah, I can't go on. I must go on. I can't go on. Ah, the human existentialist crisis. Qua, 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 world without end. He doesn't care. Spool, spool. Is that what's disturbing you, Michael? No, it's me bad back. I also think of uh, Beckett batting in some sort of author's 11. And the ball is in and it's hit him right in front of the stumps there. And he's got the sign up looking for a review. And the review says this is an outstanding piece of theatre which revolutionised 20th century dramatic works. 